Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> oh, that's big. <laughs> that might be fun. How's your diarrhea, Zach? <laughs> oh my god. What? My diarrhea. You said it was bad. No, I said. <laughs> You said you had to bring extra underwear? Or yeah. I forget what you said. Yeah, 100%. Are we good? Are we rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. Welcome to another episode of Fish and OD. Today is Zach's last day, part of his uh, internship with Thrive Visuals. He's been living in Kenora, living on beautiful Lake of the Woods, and uh, it was his last day. So I said, Zach, what do you want to do? And Zach likes to bass fish. He really likes the largey fish. I said, okay, we'll go largey fish. And uh, here we are. Water's warm. Sun's shining. It's like a heat warning in Kenora today, but um, we're looking for big, big green bass. And uh, I don't know what else there is to say. What techniques are we throwing? Uh, we're gonna be doing jigs. Kind of got all three here. I got a flipping jig on right now. We got a frog, and we got a swim jig. So those three are pretty good. But yeah, basically, flipping jig and frog. The sun's really high right now, so once we get into some more pads, we'll probably start frogging. But uh, just covering water. I haven't fished this area too much, so we'll just, we'll see. Largies are kind of tough in Northwest Ontario, so. Anyways, enough talking. We're getting fishing. That's crazy. Big pike. Big pike. I like being at this angle, because I could sidearm. I suck overhead. Oh shoot, that's the seven foot six rod. Why do you need to sidearm your frogs? Um, because you could push them really uh, into really... Uh... Is that a bass? I think it's a pike. Nice pike. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, I broke my frog. Oh. <laughs> that's two baits I lose to pike today. Oh, I tried not... Oh, I tried pulling it I away from him. Zach lose a bunch of bait. <sighs> I'll try the first one, the one on the left here first. It's hot. It's going to be nice to get around that side. Called it. Nice. I think so. Oh, it's a good one. Oh my god. Want me to go lip it? I'll lip him. That's a good fish. That's actually a really good fish. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's big. That might be five. That's a big fish. I'll get my scale. That. That's a huge and fish. Oh my god. Real. That's Woo. insane. Hold up. Okay, we're weighing it. First largey of the day, and it's just a hog. Just a hog. First largey in my new Alumacraft. Come on, baby. Just shy, 4.4, four and a half pounder. This is probably like, yeah, one of my bigger largies in Northwest Ontario. Hot, that makes the day right there. All right, look at that. Four and a half pound swamp donkey. Gone. Okay, so it is current. Diarrhea is better, or is <laughs> it still there? What? It's better? What? The diarrhea? Ha! <laughs> Got <he>! oh. <laughs> Oh my god, you suck. Okay, so it is currently 8 o'clock. We've been fishing for like forever already. It's We started at like what, 1 o'clock fishing almost? Uh, yeah, maybe a little later. Something maybe like a little later. But we've been fishing forever and Jay got one really nice fish almost right at the beginning. 
Um, we got maybe like an hour at best left of fishing. So I'm gonna put the camera down, I'm gonna strap on the GoPro again, and hopefully we get a nice fish in this last hour. Yes, sir. Hopefully. And she swims upside down. We'll see. Should work. First cast. Come on. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. First cast with the homemade frog. There we go. The modified frog. Oh wow, he's hung. He's hung good. Wow. Oh, he's off. He's off. It's not a giant. It's a very good fish, though. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got him. Oh, he's off. No. Oh my God, that was such a good fish too. No way. <sighs> that was huge. Did you see it? I didn't, take, I didn't look at it. I was just getting ready for slow motion. Oh my God. How big do you think? Like close to the one you had. Uh, it was so close. It was like four easily. Wow, first cast. Okay, that gets the blood rushing. Oh. Jeez, so that's the frog I modified for Jay. One day when I was cleaning out his frog box, he was like, oh, there's this broken frog. And I'm like, oh, you could just modify that and put a paddle tail on it and first cast with it. Amazing. That's crazy. Oh my God. I wish I had a more powerful rod. This is like technically a crankbait rod. It's a medium, heavy, uh, moderate, fast. It's a bit slow for frogging, but you work with what you have. That was crazy. Oh my God. So Jay, how was your experience with Zachary Saladino? If you are uh, a company, uh, an individual, any of those, if you're any of those things and you need professional photos done, I would highly recommend Zachary. He's professional. If you don't see his hair, it helps the professionalism. But hopefully he comes back next summer. We'll see. I haven't given him an official offer yet, but there's a pretty good chance. And uh, yeah, he worked his butt off this summer. So that's all I got to say. Thank you, Jay. That's a wrap. If you guys are not following Zach, you're an idiot. Click the subscribe button, show him some love. He is the next big thing for Montreal since french fries and poutine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's, that's a wrap. Maybe Zach will be back next summer. We will see. So guys, unfortunately, this is my last time fishing with Jay, at least for a little while. Unless um, he comes to Montreal. Unless he comes to Montreal, which would be sick. Would you guys want to see him out in Montreal? I'm sure you do if you follow him. Go follow him if you aren't following him already. I could imagine you are, but... Kiss the camera. Kiss the camera? Okay, Jay says he wants me to kiss the camera. So I will see you guys next time on Fishing OB.